Welcome to the 365 Performance Show with your host, Scott Dillon. Hey everybody, hope you're having a great start to the new year. Just back at work now and it's been good to have a bit of a break. Sorry that I've been a little bit quiet. So I wanted to share just something that happened to me recently and hopefully you can get some uh, understanding of how it probably happens to you also. When you try to do something new, something that you haven't done before, even at the beginning, free of letting anyone know it's hard to even initiate the change. But once people begin to hear about it, possibly ones that do care about you, maybe people that don't care about you, or just maybe just something general in life, it always seems to pop its head up to give you a reason to retreat and to not actually execute on it. So just a few days ago, I started my little swimming lessons. I have this goal that over the next 90 days, I want to be able to ocean swim from one end of Bondi Beach to the other. Right now, I cannot really swim in the ocean at all. I can do a couple of laps, but me swimming one end to the other out in the deep water scares the bugger out of me. So I said to myself, in order for me to achieve this and actually accomplish it, the first thing I need to do is double down, need to pay for some lessons with someone that's qualified, book it in so it helps hold me more accountable. I did that and just would have probably only been like four hours later, I saw a mate. I told my mate what I was going to do. And the first thing he said, he's like, why do you always have to be like so serious when you go to like do things like this? Why don't you just, you know, practice on your own and give it a go? He didn't mean anything horrible by it. It was just like a conversation. But by him actually saying that to me, it sort of made me second guess myself and question and be like, oh, am I sort of like carrying on a bit do people that hang around me think I'm a bit of like a narcissist or is this kind of like okay it just made me second guess myself the second thing is I'm wanting to improve my surfing which right now it's pretty crap I have a lot of work to do but at least I can sort of stand up every now and then so I have this goal that I want to be able to do this maneuver in the next 90 days for me to be able to do that I just need to get heaps and heaps and heaps of reps I need to go out when the surf is pretty bad I need to go out when it's big and I'm a little bit scared but I just need to go out constantly and not pick and choose so this same day this same day after my mate said that little thing that made me second guess myself I was walking past the pub with my surfboard the surf was really crap but I made this commitment to myself that I'm going to go out anyway and then when I said that I was at the traffic lights and these two guys who were a little bit pissed said something like well he's not going to catch any waves on that is he same deal I don't really care about these two people that are drinking I don't know them from a bar of soap they just said that trying to be funny or whatever but me being a little bit self-conscious I'm still learning once again it made me second guess myself and it got me thinking because every single time that happens I like to think of it like it's almost like I'm inside this elastic band I'm there and I'm starting to go one way which is the way I want and the other side of the elastic band there's someone else could be someone that cares about me someone that doesn't care about me someone that doesn't know me for a bar of soap but whenever I want to create something change some change or something meaningful there always tends to be these experiences that happen out of the blue that put tension on that elastic band and they stop me from taking more steps forward and if I don't have faith and belief in myself it's really easy to just let go and go back to square one and I see this all the time especially when people possibly especially around this time of the year when they're just starting maybe training or getting healthy they've got a bit of a fire in their belly and they're wanting to create some change for the next year they may start at the gym they may tell their partners or partner or their friends maybe their work colleagues what they're doing and the work colleague will very well or family member a lot of the times they may not necessarily be the most supportive with it but it's really important for us to recognize that when there's that sort of tension in a relationship it normally comes from one of two things yeah the first piece is that you are growing and you're expanding and improving 
and the other person is not. And we always think that as soon as we initiate a change, everyone around us should support us and change also. But it's not the way things happen. Likewise, I'm sure you can look back in your life. There's been times when other people around you, maybe it's your friend that they just decided to start doing Kung Fu or something like that. Or maybe they've decided to travel the world or whatnot. And you could have said something that was a little bit negative. Maybe you thought they were an idiot for doing that based off of how good their life is right now. Maybe you thought that the choice that they made wasn't necessarily the best one in your eyes. And you said something in a loving way just because you simply want the best for them but if you look back at it now the way that they were committed and what they wanted to do you probably didn't come across in the most supportive way so my question for you today is with what area of your life and with what you're doing in that area is there currently a little bit of tension are you trying to go some way in some direction and grow and improve and possibly the other person or persons in your life aren't giving you that support and maybe they're not telling you the things that you want to hear or is it the other end of the rubber band where maybe you are the one holding them back they're wanting to improve maybe they're wanting to go study something and you're sort of giving them the other stuff on the other side of the ear saying oh I don't think that's right It's just really important to to recognize this because in any relationships, there's always tension, but it's normally someone's going one way and the other person's going the other way. So something to think about, where in your life right now are people possibly telling you the things that you don't want to hear and you're retreating when you need to just have conviction and confidence in yourself and just keep moving forward anyway. Hope you have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.